Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Collaborative. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at a hacker rank uh, question called Migratory Birds, where what we're going to be doing is we're going to begin in an array of birds that have been seen, and each uh, number in here corresponds to a bird's ID, and then each one obviously is a count for one time it was seen. So we need to go through and figure out which bird has been seen the most in the given array. For more details on the problem in the description, go ahead and take a look at hacker rank and look up migratory birds. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get an array and we're going to go through the array and basically we have to sort it. We either need to literally sort using sort or I'm just going to go ahead and compile all the combinations into an array, I mean into a, an object. So we're going to let seen birds equal an empty object. And then we can do for each bird that's been seen, if it's not in seen birds, so if that's not true, then seen birds of bird will equal one because it's been seen once. Um, otherwise, we'll do seen birds of bird plus plus. Okay. So at this time, if we go ahead and run this function, we will just see all of them in. Come on, oh, I got me that bad. We will just see them all in the array. So there's the array. We'll jump in. Oh, I guess I should show you and watch. We'll add in scene birds. So we have an object, and see, it's just gonna combine them all like that um, for us. So. Then what we're going to want to do is now that we have this object of birds, we're going to do, uh, we're going to go loop through the object and find which one's the most. So we're going to have a bird ID and we're going to have a, um, an account or total. Okay, and now we can do so we have to loop through each thing in the scene birds and if there's basically two conditions we have to look at. One is is it bigger? Is it seen more? Or is it the same? If it's a, if it's the same, is the bird's ID less? That's the kind of the tricky thing. Less than the current bird ID. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if seen birds of key is uh, greater than the total, then we want the total to equal seen birds of key. And at the same time, if we're setting a new total, then the bird ID needs to also be set to the current bird. Because that's, uh, I mean, current bird, which is the key. Now, um, else if the seen birds of key, if it's just equal to the total, then we need to check its ID. Then we need to check its ID here. So we're going to do that now. Uh, and that will be done by saying if the bird ID if seen birds of key 
no. We're looking at the key, the current key. So if the key, I hate these as statements. If the bird ID is greater than the key, the current bird ID is greater than the key, then bird ID equals key. Then at the end of this, now we can return the bird ID. And let's find out. What is going on? Okay, so here we go. Do -do -do. So that's great. So the current bird ID is one with two. That makes sense because that's the first thing. So now we're going through this second piece and it should be updated again. So now we're at totals four. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Because that was our bird four, and it was seen four times. It was seen three times. Why did they all have an extra one? That's why. Sorry, everybody. That was not cool. That's why I like this the console, so we can easily see what's going on. So now we'll go back through and look at yeah, one, three, and one, four, three, and five, and one. Yeah, so that's perfect. Now when we go through, we step over. You can see how it works. So we're going through, doo, 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 and then we return bird four, and that is the correct answer. If we wanted to check another one, this answer should be number three coming out. Let's remove the breakpoint for everybody watching. And the answer came out three. So great. If you have any other questions or there's a better way to do this, uh, there is actually another way to do it where you don't have to do the double for loops, uh, which is quite good for time complexity. So if you want to see that other solution, hit me up in the comments and I will show you that next. Thanks.